Vijay Prasad is joining us. He's from the Karnataka BJP unit. Dr. Pavan Rao Ambedkar is from the AIMIM. Arnav A. Bagalwadi is one of the advocates who had earlier represented one of the hijab petitioners. Advocate Afsar Jahan is a senior lawyer and women activist. Kapil Sankla is a senior Supreme Court lawyer. Amina Begum Ansari is a policy analyst also joining us. The PFI was invited on this show, but they refused to come. Let me go across to Dr. Pavan Rao Ambedkar on the role of the CFI and the PFI. Don't you think, regardless of politics, regardless of where any one of us may stand as far as political lines are concerned, it is a matter of concern that CFI was caught goading these young girls, using them for what was eventually their political agenda as far as the hijab row is concerned. Uh, very good evening to all of you. Hmm. Uh, first of all, I just want to tell you that Mr. Uh, Tushar Mehta, Solicitor General of India, has no any uh, face or something. That's why he is connecting the hijab issue with the PFI to change the main topic. Neither he is talking on the religious institutions based on the practices, custom, or uses, mm -hmm. or neither he is talking about the legal concept. I just want to tell you the one statement given by the uh, Justice Mr. Gupta in Supreme Court that uh, connecting to the Pagdi. Hmm. On the question of the Pagdi, Hijab, and uh, uh, Chunni, he has told that Pagdi was not equivalent to Hijab hmm. and the two could not be compared. Hmm. I just want to tell you and I just want to ask to the Tushar Mehta and uh, Justice Gupta that if I that if the pagri is not a religious symbol hmm. then connect to the hijab as a as a unreligious just like in a march 2022 no i don't think anybody is denying Karnat that hijab listen, is a religious listen, symbol listen, but listen, is it an essential the, religious li practice li listen the real point li listen the real point the full bench of the karnataka high court told that wearing of hijab by women Hmm. is not an essential practice yes if it is not an essential practice just look at this in the form of a legal practice if any girl or woman okay wants dr pavan rao you are not in court we are not discussing the, the legal arguments here and by the way let me just point why? out the basis why, why, why Tushar, not... one second sir one second the basis mr uh, Tushar mehta made the pfi link as i just now elaborated in my opening is because this has been mentioned before no, the no, karnataka no. high court this has been part of the Karnataka High Court order and there is a government intel report on this. So this is not coming out of thin air. Then secondly, what? secondly, yes. one second. It's been eight days of the hijab hearing in the Supreme Court. For majority of those days, till this afternoon, it was the petitioners who were arguing. Solicitor General Tushar Mehta has just started arguing. His arguments are not concluded. So don't make any you know, uh, final yes. comments on his arguments just yet. The question I asked you was different. What about the role of the CFI? What about the fact that these girls Why? were not wearing hijab till late 2021 and then suddenly started insisting on it, even drawing a binary that they will not attend classes if not in hijab? Is that not a dangerous ma precedent? Ma'am, I totally condemn what? the connection of PFI and hijab issue. Why Mr. Tushar Mehta is not raising the legal and conceptual He'll get to that, that sir. Like I said, he's only India. started making his he's arguments to today. I can't predict what he does. Divert. But once the hearings he's have concluded, we can the... talk about what each side said. I'm not even going on what the petitioners have said no, in court. No. Please stick to the listen, subject I'm discussing listen, and what I'm asking you. Listen Why do you condemn yes, the you link asking... when there is a link? The girls did join the There's CFI. No link. There is no link. There, there is, is a no link. link. Why are you connecting the hijab issue the with the PFI? The campus front of India Why? has been very vocal and visible. And they have come out in the open in debates I have held that they have supported these girls legally and otherwise. Then what about... Then why are you not talking about those persons who are raising the slogans in front of that girl, Jai Shri Ram and, and some other... From where they are getting the... From where they are getting but the But that's power, not a defense for hijab. The energy. Why are you not talking about them? Sir, Why that's not a defense for insisting on hijab power. inside classrooms. I'm so talking about to, this insistence that started in late to, 2021. Is it not a dangerous precedent no. that young girls are being used for political gains? Yes, I believe Vijay Why Prasad of the Karnataka right? BJP wants to come in. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, Shivani, see, we have been seeing uh, this uh, AIMIM uh, spokespersons coming on TV 
every evening and ad- advocating uh, a lot of things okay they have every evening they come with the taliban mindset come to talk on okay. the taliban mindset the talk on right the legal the issues and legal we are, are telling we are telling it is the pfi conspiracy and they are part of the larger conspiracy manufactured by congress uh, and just before the assembly elections no students i am categorically saying no student was wearing hijab until 2021 inside the classrooms in this okay. school the there are other schools where hijab is allowed no 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 if no no no, 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 see, no. If no uniform no no if uh, no. Uh, if no uniform is prescribed mm-hmm. students must wear dress which gives goes along with the idea of equality unity of india and law and order in 2022 This movement was started by PFI by sending social uh, media messages saying that come to this uh, class with the by style wearing hijab. This was not spontaneous act by the students. Okay, they were part of a larger conspiracy, and children were acting as advised by the PFI people. Okay, now at the same time, at the same time, if you see Iran, hmm. Iran. unfortunately mr prasad uh, mr prasad uh, you don't have the answer study. you don't for, have the for, legal, no, 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 no. neither legal See, you have a dual mindset answer. you that's have a, you are uh, connecting sir, you that's have why a you are mindset, connecting two different but, sides no, no, no. you are that's why you are connecting to different sides one second one second one second can i just come in can okay. i just come in one second no at the uh, same time dr uh, pavan rao please don't speak over our other guest when you were speaking you were given a chance But I am not understanding why are you so uncomfortable with the mention of Iran? Why should we not uh, mention uh, it? Uh, Pawan Rao, see, uh, try, try to make uh, Pawan Rao have patience to listen to others. Yes. The Karnataka High Court bench has given a judgment of 129 pages, spanning 129 uh, pages. Hmm. The court has eloquently answered key questions pertaining to the hijab rule and said. that prescription of the school uniform is only a reasonable restriction that yes. students cannot object to the high court has held that wearing hijab is not part of a essential religious practice under islam wearing hijab is an optional practice in islam mm. and as a consequence is not an obligatory religious practice yes the wearing of hijab is a right that falls under the freedom of expression which is subject to institutional discipline i am stressing down the word institutional discipline yes. and not under freedom of religion in the constitution yes i believe